Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be learning about converse of Lagrange's theorem uh, and this uh, result here tell us that it is not true. Uh, so what actually does Lagrange's theorem tell us? It uh, Lagrange's theorem basically provide us with a list of candidates which uh, are the orders of the subgroups of the group G. Suppose you have G as some finite group, this is the condition. Then for this finite group, we may have different subgroups, right? We know already the order of this group G. So uh, we would say if H is some subgroup, then this subgroup H would surely divide this order of the group D, uh, G, right? For example, we have a group G having order 12. So we know the divisors of 12, they are 12, 6, 4, 3, 2 and 1 and no others. Therefore, this group G would have a subgroup H such that the order of H either it could be 12, it could be 6, it could be 4, 3, 2 and 1, right? However, the converse of Lagrange's theorem is false. So that means whenever we have some finite group G, right? and in uh, such that the order of g is equal to n suppose we have some divisor d which divides this n then we cannot say the group which is formed by uh, which uh, the group having the order as d would be a subgroup of g so this we cannot say surely correct so in order to uh, convince us let's see this example so what we are trying to say is, suppose we have a group which is finite group which is having order as 12, right? If H has order 6, then H may or may not be a subgroup of the group G. Let's see an example, uh, a counter example in fact to see the result. So here for this example, we are considering the finite group A4, which is the alternating group. So you know the order here is obtained by 4 factorial divided by 2. What is that? It is equal to 12, right? So this group has order 12. So it would have 12 elements. Now we are saying this group do not have a subgroup which ha which is of order 6. Here you definitely know 6 divide 12, correct? So uh, but here we do not have any subgroup which has order 6 right this is not there in this case so let's see how if you remember we have already studied a4 uh, and all the elements are represent if we represent them by alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 up to alpha 12 so this is the calculator table for the group a4 right now here we have eight such elements which have order 3 right we, they are a5 alpha 5 alpha 6 alpha 7 up to alpha 12 let's see how let's see whether we have this as the identity element or not so alpha 5 could be written as alpha 5 into alpha 5 into alpha 5 so it would be what what is the value of alpha 5 into alpha 5 so let's see in our table here we have the value as alpha 9 so let's see the result what is alpha 5 into alpha 9 it is alpha 1 right so you see this is our identity of the group so in this case we have the element as where what what does uh, this alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 represents you remember the example of tetrahedron we were rotating it by different angles by and within by uh, different orientation so these alpha 1 to alpha 6 alpha 12 they all represent different permutations of the rotation of tetrahedron so here you see we have alpha 5 to alpha 12 as eight such elements such that the order of uh, each of these elements is 3. Now what we are saying that we are supposing H as some subgroup of this group G which is A4 right and uh, such that the order of this is H. So we basically we will reach a contradiction here and then that is why we will prove that there is no such subgroup which would have order 6 here right. So for the purpose now we have assumed that this subgroup H is having order 6. So we now suppose A as some of the element in A4 which has order 3 right. 
सो बेसिकली इट इज वन अमंग ए फाइव ए सिक्स अप टू ए ट्वेल्व इट इज वन अमंग दीज एलिमेंट्स राइट सो नाउ वॉट वी आर सेंग दिस एलिमेंट ए डज नॉट बिलोंग टू एच वाई बिकॉज इफ दिस एलिमेंट ए बिलोंग्स टू एच सो दैट मीन्स ईच ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट वुड बिलोंग टू एच सो दैट मीन द ऑर्डर ऑफ एच वुड बिकम एट हाउ एवर वी हैव अज्यूम द ऑर्डर ऑफ एच टू बी सिक्स सो वी अज्यूम दैट एच डू नॉट कंटेन एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर थ्री इन ए फोर राइट सो दिस ए वुड ऑल्सो नॉट बी प्रेजेंट इन एच सो वी मे राइट ए फोर एज दिस जॉइंट यूनियन ऑफ एच विद द को सेट ऑफ एच सो ऑल द अदर एलिमेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन एच एंड द एलिमेंट्स विच आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन एच वुड बी प्रेजेंट इन दिस को सेट ए एच बिकॉज दे बोथ आर डिस जॉइन टू ईच अदर नाउ If a is present in a four, then a square would also be present in a four. So that means a square would also be present in this union H union with a H, right? So that means this a square is either present in this H or it is present in a H. So let's consider both of the cases. In the first case, we are saying this a square is present in H, and the second case we are saying a square is present in a H. Now, if a square is present in H, what does it mean? It means that uh, by the closure property, if we have a square into a square, right? So it would be a square raised to power two. It would be a square raised to power four, which we may write a raised to power three into a raised to power one. A raised to power three is identity. Why? Because we have considered the order of a to be three. So a raised to power three has definitely to be the identity. So this is identity, and when we multiply it with a, it would result in a. So therefore, this a. Uh, because we are saying a square raised to power square is a member of h because a square is a member of h so a has also to be a member of h which is not possible because we have uh, assumed this thing that a is not present in h in the starting in the second case we, if we say a square is present in a h what does it mean it mean that a square could be written as a into some element of capital h right so according to the left cancellation law if we post multiply it with a inverse so we would have here a inverse a h so it would result in a is equal to h so that means what is your a a is nothing but some element h of the uh, subgroup capital h so this implies that because h is a member of capital h so this a would also be a member of this capital h but this is also not true because we have assumed that a is not a member of h now both the cases they are have been ruled out so what does it mean it means that a has to be a member of h right so if a is a member of h that and it is having order 3 so that means a because we know a4 has uh, eight elements of such kind which have order 3 so all the eight elements are present in h so that means the order of the subgroup h that cannot be 6 it has to be 8 and you know 8 doesn't divide uh, 12 completely so therefore the order of the subgroup here do not divide the order of the group in this case and hence the converse of this lagrange's theorem is not true in general so i hope you understood this uh, result well well that is it for this video thank you for watching